us. I saw that you look nice. Yeah, oh, that was really? amazing. Yeah. Oh, you're filming. Yeah. Schönen guten Tag, meine Damen und Herren. Herzlich willkommen bei der Meinung von der Champion Film. Boy, I'm hungry. You're hungry? For what? Oh, some nonsense? We got plenty of nonsense back there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, also, yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's Actually, go. I'm I'm really excited to show you this car that's back let's there. Go, man, let's go, let's go, let's go. Also, wir sind bei Hunigen. Uh, spielen heute rum. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, sorry. No, forget around, it's just a key card. Oh, okay, yeah. We're in Hunigen and we have a lot of nonsense. Is everybody there? This is where, uh, this is where JP's going to be staying the rest yeah. of his trip. Yeah. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. Looks awesome. Yeah. It is cool. It's cool. Yeah. It is super cool. Yeah, this is an office. You haven't oh. seen it. You used to edit in this thing, right? Yeah. Do you when want to see Brian's office? You don't yeah. have to film it. Do you want to see Brian's yeah, office? Yeah. We we don't need to film, but I hope okay, okay. we can film it. Yeah, okay, oh, okay. okay. This is Carlos' office. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh yeah. Tell me that's not what you would Where, imagine it's like. Where's the sexy boy? He's not here. Oh. Yeah. Also Brian Scotto and I have so a geile Beziehung, weil ich I think now he's a little afraid to see me always because I'm I'm. I think the old truck comment got him. The old, I think the old truck really got him. Because his face, because he, he's so, you know, he's, I'm Brian Scotto, I'm the big guy in the big truck. I, it, he felt it. He felt it. That was, that was a pivotal moment in your guys' relationship. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Nein, aber, um, wie ihr seht, ich bin super gerne hier. The relationship is pretty nice. I, I appreciate it because you guys just go back and forth with trying to talk shit on each other. So that's no, 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 me I mean, great. I mean, the Hoonig and JP performance. Oh, yeah, that one's nice. Yeah, it's very yeah. nice. And and maybe we do a little more stuff in the future. Some things planned. Maybe that you, that you don't know too. I'm down. Does it involve us coming to Germany? Because that's always fun. <laughs> <laughs> but it has to be summertime, though. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Right now it's too cold. Uh, so when are you oh. going to, to? Yeah, I know. Yeah, oh I, wow. I'm waiting to see this one. This Hello. One. Hello. <laughs> hey. This one is it, right here. This is the first. 632 crate engine that Chevrolet Performance made. So you could buy this. In liters, in liters, eight point. Yeah, uh, this one, is 1,000 horsepower from the factory. N-A. N-A. Wow. On pump gas. On pump gas? Yeah. No, gotta be more than 8.4 then. One second. That's 632 times 25 point, no, divided by 25.4? I don't know, I don't know how to do math. When these guys are done eating, we'll start it up so you can hear this thing. It sounds super sick. It's, it's going to seem right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <gasps> That's 10.3 liters. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Hell yeah, double digit liters? <laughs> That's 10... And how much is that engine? Uh, I don't know offhand. I think it's like $25,000. It's not that crazy. For a thousand? Wow. For a thousand hey, horsepower. Hey, hey. I drove the fastest car and I was in the passenger seat just two hours ago. What was it? 2000 HP Aventador. Ooh, yeah. And I, and, I, and I was just cool, you know. I felt so many things in my life and when you get into it, it didn't hurt. It was, I, was, I was truly afraid. But it's the all-wheel drive has so much grip. I drove a 1600 wheel horsepower R8. And that's the point. The DSG, the, the double clutch, is so much smoother. Smoother. It just, but that one shifts, so it kicks yeah, you in each gear, right? And then 6.3 V12 Ooh. and all that. And oh, I, I forgot. V12 is yeah. all the noise. And, yeah. and I and I I stepped out of the car. Yeah. And I didn't talk. I just didn't talk. I was just. Was it a Gintani car? Where were you? No, it was a, a underground racing. Oh, you know and that kit is like seven hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, exactly. yeah, That's exactly. The one I drove. Yeah. Seven hundred grand. Yeah, seven hundred grand for a turbo kit. Yeah, <laughs> on top gearbox, of the car. Gearbox, everything was built, but don't care. <laughs> but the the way it did that. Yeah. And I expected a lot, but I re I was I was just purely afraid. I was yeah. just like, one of my friends just built a a seven twenty S. Mm -hmm. 12, 12, 1300 horsepower, and uh, you should meet them. And he was showing me, we went for a ride, and all he was doing was showing me big videos of this Aventador, because he just drove that too. And he's like, it's the most incredible car you could ever drive. Yeah, and it's, and it's just, and, and I got out, and I thought, I don't need this. Yeah. It was the first time when I said to myself, <laughs> oh, you know what? It's too it's much. good to have it for you, yeah. but I, don't, I just don't want to be involved in no. that shit. It's so much power. Yeah. And like, you hit it, and you're going, you know, let's say 100 miles an hour, and then you're going like 170, like that. And yeah. It's the same, it's yeah. exact number yeah. that, we, that we went. I just <laughs> that's just like, just get out and get arrested. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's just German. But uh, so we, I looked down, it was 50 something miles, okay? 
He went on it. I looked up. I looked down. I looked to the gauge. 170 <laughs> miles per hour, not kilometers. Yeah, not kilometers. Yeah. That's, that's Which is like what, like 300 kilometers almost? Nearly, yeah, 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 nearly, yeah. So this, yeah, this thing's crazy. Well, when he's done, we'll lower this down. You got to see this. Yeah, I wow. know. I know when you I know the this. car. Oh, do you know what's in it? It's also LS, right? No, even better, or worse, but better in a way. Right, so I see a supercharger. Though. But look, it's got it's all tube chassis. Yeah, I remember. I remember when you started yeah. that. I got to translate always a little bit. Yeah. Also, nochmal. Also, wir haben ganz kurz. Wir haben 10,3 Liter Motor hier. 10,3 mm -hmm. Liter auch. 25,000 kostet der Motor. Was ich nicht viel finde, ich finde, das könnten wir auch mal machen. Ich finde das auch ziemlich wichtig. Wir haben auch schon ein Projektbody dafür eigentlich, wo das reinpassen fährt könnte und würde. Hm? Fährt das Ding? Ja, klar, das fährt richtig gut. Ja, aber jetzt, also, vielleicht machen wir den gleich mal an. Ja, ja, wir machen den gleich an, auf jeden Fall. Uh. Ja, auf jeden Fall. Ich glaube, dann ist die Entscheidung schon gefallen, wenn wir das machen. Oh, the buddy. You good? Good, man. Good to see, see you. the car still running, man. It's it is, fun. yeah. It, it was my daily for six months and then I got a different daily, but you know, I still drive it around. And no problems? No problems. No problems. None. It smokes a little bit, but you know, that's old oh, yeah. Italian cars. Italian cars. Yeah, yeah. Believe right. it or not, I know. Yeah, he, dude, he drives that thing all the time. I was in the canyons I didn't following him that. in the GT3. It's crazy. Well, I put it on super sticky tires, and suspension, that. and a couple other things, but dude, it's a But crazy. engine gearbox running. Yeah. Electronics. Yeah. I mean, well, not on Camaro. <laughs> You've had no issues with it. It's crazy. Yeah. It's mind blowing. But I ha I get when unreliable. When I saw the car in my workshop, I he did an oil change, and you have to like take apart the front of the car. It's impossible. The oil filter. The oil is filter just, is like right, right next to the exhaust. You didn't change the oil since? No. Yeah. When it came here, I changed the oil. Uh -huh. I did oil, suspension, tires, all that stuff. Yeah. That's pretty. Now. He had no faith. I know. <laughs> Nobody did. Before they had to put it back up. So this is a. Uh, we built this thing last year. Hell, uh, Hellcat motor. No. With a Magnuson supercharger. And that makes 700? No, it makes 1,000. Yeah, 1,000's right. a number around here. Yeah. Oh, look at this. It's got, it's got cup holders. Yeah, that's uh, important. It's got carbon fiber floors. Very important. Uh, it's all tube chassis, handbrake. Oh, wait, I got to show you the coolest thing. Yeah, you see that? The yeah, the windows. No, no, no. You see that handbrake? This. Oh, yeah, it's two way. This it's is the yardstick, we call it. So pull back. So, yeah, yeah. Drift, drift rear. And then front. Line lock. Line lock. Up front. Yeah. Yeah. You can buy it like that? Nah. No, we made it. I've never seen it. Look at this back seat. But it's pretty smart. Look though. at this executive chariot we have here. <laughs> you got power windows, mm -hmm. cup holders, carbon fiber fl uh, floors, mm -hmm. and you know, nice little seat. And mm -hmm. even wood, look at the wood. So you, you said to me that I can drive this. You could drive this, yeah, at the burn yard. But you yeah, have to do it yeah. in front of all the people. And yeah, that's, that's cool. Yeah, you could drive this, for sure. <laughs> nice, yeah. That's wird sehr, sehr gut. Yeah. That's wird sehr, sehr gut. Yeah. But, but when the guys are finished with eating, I, I'm, I can't wait to hear that. These are all custom. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, one piece. One piece? Yeah. They all, they're well, oh, they're well, well the grind yeah. 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 We also yeah. get these for the back. Yeah. yeah just <laughs> I said, JT could drive this to SEMA. Yeah. Okay. He's got to do a little rip ski. Absolutely, yeah. man. Yeah. Uh, oh, the guys are gone. Before we show him Indy oh. the truck, should we start this thing up and let him just oh. hear this poppy chap? Let's go. I don't know. Finding the key is going to be one thing, but. Oh, it's in it. Oh, is it a Porsche? It's got a left hand key. You never drove it? No. It broke like a million times. Really? Oh. Ready? Yeah. That's America. That's America right there. That is <laughs> <laughs> 10.3 liters. Yeah, I, we, just, we did the math. Yeah. Well, he did oh the math. Yeah. 10.3 yeah. liter. Yes. Also, that's I've never heard in my life. See, it's, like. But, but it, it sounds. Yeah. It sounds geil. Yeah. yeah. Geil. I know you. Yeah. You, you can do it. You say geil. Is it yeah. Real roughness from here. <laughs> no, no, it, sound, it sounds cool. I mean, yeah, it, it sounds yeah. special. It sounds what does that crazy. Mean? 
That means cool? Guile? Yeah. 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 But see, like, both make the same power, but this is like stock with Quiet. a supercharger, so it's nice and smooth, silky. This is just. That's an animal. Pure man. An animal. But it makes it NA, which is cool. And on 91 octane. But these, they're about to load up this truck, so we gotta go check this thing oh. out. You gotta see this. Yeah, see I'm excited because you haven't seen this. I okay. sent you one little teaser face. Yeah, you did. You but did. this is. Uh, I have little, I've seen the engine. It's yeah. a little crazy because we're last minute getting loaded up in an hour. Oh wow. Okay. Oh wow. What's this thing? Yeah, but we need, we need to okay. test it. Whew. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the back. The seats, perfect. Look at this. And then we can do that too. Look at the gearbox. Yeah, this is 100% out of, from their back, modern, current day indie car. Engine, drivetrain, suspension bits, everything. So we use a small tube. But we fucking even the diffuser like, and the front splitter full function yeah. 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 just off the shelf parts from Honda HPD. So let's do that. You did that. Sub. That's why. That's why we have Trevor. And it's a used engine, right? Brand new. Brand new engine. Brand new engine. For sure. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And there's a couple other fun things about it. We put but the tail wait, light wait, wait. in the wing. The intercooler in the back. is in the intake manifold. No, no intercooler. So in IndyCar for regulations, you run seven psi max. And it runs on E85. How much power is that? 800. Yeah, okay. If you want an e E85 plus a 7 psi, that's okay. Yeah. I actually thought it had an intercooler. Nope. Does it run an intercooler? No intercooler at all. Because no. IndyCar regs, so you need, shit out of you, you need big ass uh, wastegates on each side to regulate get rid of, yeah. You get no boost creep, right? Yeah. Mm. So we'll turn it up later, but right now, just off of the clutch, off of idle, it already just lights yeah. the tires <laughs> up. It's crazy. But, but uh, you use it. You use it, this modern high technology yeah. engine for drifting? No. Oh, no, no. We want to do some track records, maybe Pikes Peak, something like that. See this? That's nice. Yeah, so we designed wing it. end plate with a tail light in it. We wanted to keep the truck shape going through here, but you want to show the engine. So you take away the bedside, but you follow the body line of the truck through here. Yeah. And keep the tail light. Yeah. So when you look in the back, visually, it's still. Okay, I will show you guys. You will film now. You will take the the, the, the sound off, uh -huh. and I will tell you a project that we working on right now. I figured this was up your alley. This is it's the exactly, type of shit you it's guys exactly do. It's exactly the type of shit that we do. And I will tell you, well, you want to you see it first of all, or you want to hear numbers first of all? I want to hear numbers. Man. Yeah. Is it the bug? Yeah. I no. hope it's the bug. No. Okay. Uh, So, but who will drive this then? You, you, you will go Pikes Peak with this. Well, we won't drive Pikes Peak. They have IndyCar drivers that are driving, but we'll be driving on tracks. And, and the best part about this is going to drive into SEMA. Yeah. Like it runs, starts up, they're going to drive it on the truck in a couple of minutes. So, from day one, we said this thing has to drive out of its own power. But how do you start this engine? So it needs a warming I'm process. Yeah, yeah so right. Right here, we have these caps and plug ins that so go for water. Water, water. Yeah. And here, Thanks. you have this which is a kerosene heater. So you turn it on, you plug in the water and oil separately. It goes through a whole process. The ECU- and this takes half hour. 20 minutes, half hour, yeah. depending on Wait, what the base level is. Wait, did they teach us to do it alone or do no. we need Honda? No. We still need, need, we need a Honda engineer here to do it. And then, to start and then it, you need yeah. the starter. It doesn't, have a, it doesn't have a starter on it. You need the guy in the back going yeah. So real shit now. Yeah. <laughs> no, no tuning, we're big boys yeah. now. Yeah. Hey, check this out. So look at the front. You can see it through the hood right here. Wow. 2020 NSX carbon carbon brakes right here. 2020 NSX upper and lower arms. Oh. And then we made our own cantilevered suspension, subframe, Moton, everything. That's, you did it in house? Mm -hmm. Really? Yes. Yeah, all these guys in here on Impressive. CAD, on everything. So we drove in here with the new NSX, put it up on a lift, 3D scan, everything. Take the motion ratio, suspension, That's all exactly that. Exactly what we, yeah, nice, sorry. Yep. No, it's all good, yeah. So do all 3D on CAD, motion ratio, all that, it's all correct. All the geometry works, all it's, you know, like it's supposed to act because we make cars that need to drive. It has to drive and it has to perform. So that's what we have here. So we use. I'm, I'm very, I'm very impressed. 
Thank you. Thank I figured you would like this. Yes. I was like, this is a car for you, 100%. hundred yeah. percent. And, and the real estate, this all that comes something. Nope. Yeah, so this, this is the shape of a McLaren IndyCar side pod. Mm -hmm. So that will stay that because you want to see the engine. You don't who, made the, you, who made the car design? So I teamed up with Honda designers. They had an internal uh, like design contest, 20 designers. The same guys that do Civics, NSX, trucks, everything. Internal guys. Internal guys. And then we said, okay, I really like this guy's front end here. I like this wing plate and then over months. We do it all into one, it all becomes a rendering. And we send see, pictures. It's you not know. 100% tube frame because the sidewall is still the car. Yes. Well, this, the, the truck unibody, they tried to save for the shape, but they pretty much, like it's got the original floor pans and stuff, but it's pretty much full. But really, like there's tubes that go The only thing you need here is a back mount because remember, yeah. stress member chassis. Absolutely. So the transmit, and that's why we had to run it in something bigger. We said, oh, it'd be cool to have this in an Integra or a Civic or something. But then the, the front cylinder would be, you'd be sitting on top of the engine. And also, you know? when we started this project, you know, you don't know all the specifics. So we were like, put the engine in the front, like in an S2000, and just run a Sadev gearbox, regular. And they, Honda engineers were like, yeah, no, you can't do any <laughs> of that. It has to be as it is. Because it all, huh. there, there's so much stuff in here that is all integrated into making it work. So. There's a, an air oil separator that's a centrifugal spinner. Inside? Yes, inside the block. Wow. And it's driven off of the transmission. No. So because the, it spins 12,000 RPM, instead of frothing up all the oil, the oil goes through the centrifugal thing. It pushes all the oil to the side and the air comes out out of a breather up top. Okay, das muss ich immer, also da ist eine Zentrifuge drin, wo das Öl reinkommt und das, diese, diese Zentrifuge wird angetrieben über die Getriebewelle und durch, die Rotier, durch das Rotieren geht das reine Öl an die Wand, wird verteilt und in der Mitte geht, das, geht die Luft dann durch. How big is this? It's pretty small. It's pretty small. Yes. Because it's all rotating mass. But you know, you know what the, the saddest thing about all this is? That the bumper is up there. <laughs> Eagle eye. Damn. Uh, Brian's like, why didn't you hide that? Also, Brian's got those Audi. So good. Was, oh, was yeah. nicht fährt und der oben nicht so lang zu sehen. Ich hoffe, das ist so typisch für ihn. Grüße gehen raus, Brian. So, I will, I, will, I will explain them a little bit in German. Yeah. And I'm back to you in a day. Was wirklich interessant ist, äh, wenn diese Videos kommen, also wir sind schon fleißig dabei in Deutschland ein Auto zu bauen, was sehr stark in die Richtung geht von sowas hier. Mhm. Und das freut mich so und es ist halt gerade ein bisschen so sneaky peaky, aber ich erzähle das jetzt einfach. Das ist ein sehr, sehr, sehr krasser Umbau. Also wir haben hier einen IndyCar Motor, 800 PS mit 0,7 PSI. Das ist ganz, ganz wenig. Warum so wenig? Weil der Motor ist ohne Ladeluftkühler. Das heißt, der, der drückt den Ladedruck direkt von da dort oben rein. Da der Wagen aber auf E85 läuft, ja, ist es nicht so ein Riesenproblem, weil es viel, viel klopffester ist, der Treibstoff. Somit kannst du da sehr viel Volllast fahren ohne Ladeluftkühlung. Das ist kein riesengroßes Problem. Ähm, durch die höhere Kühlleistung vom Sprit an sich. Genau, durch die Kühlleistung vom Sprit selbst und äh, die Belastbarkeit. Also, das neigt es nicht zum Klopfen groß. Mhm. Das ist schon mal sehr, sehr geil zu sehen. Dann, how much is the powertrain around? Uh, I don't think you can buy it. Yeah, you can't buy it. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure there's some kind of cost cap for IndyCar. But it's got to be, yeah. Oh, they, yes, you can't right. buy it, so I don't think, you yeah. know, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. just what it is. Okay, also, ich, ich würde mal tippen, der Motor kostet um die 200.000. Hätte ich auch gesagt, ja. So, aber was, was ganz geil zu sehen ist, dass dieser Antriebsstrang ja Teil des eigentlichen Autos ist. Mm -hmm. ne? Du siehst ja, dass die Dämpfer sind auf der Getriebeglocke montiert, von Dallara. Ne? Zum Beispiel, das Dallara ist so ein ganz typischer Rennwagenhersteller, ja. ne? mm -hmm. Chassishersteller. Das heißt, die haben eine Verbindung gebracht zwischen diesem Indica-Antriebsstrang, reingebaut über dieses Tube-Frame-System an diesem Truck. Ne? Und das ist wieder Indica-Optik und dann ist wieder eine Truck-Optik. Und dann haben wir vorne Push-Rod-System. Ne? Guck mal, die nehmen das gerade ab. Oh ja. Auch oh, guck mal, was für, ein, wow. was für ein Wasserkühler das ist, was für eine Größe für Wasserkühler. Dann ist vorne wieder, das hier ist wieder von dem Truck, aber dann drauf geschweißt mit Laser gefertigten Teilen, äh, von, damit die Aufnahme kommt von dem NSX. Ne? Also das ist wieder ein NSX Radträger, die Doppelquerlenker. Ne? Mhm. Oben Doppelquerlenker und ein Einzel. Mhm. Boah. Und dann wieder, um dann wieder ums zu toppen und dann wieder umgebaut auf Pushrod. And the cool thing is you can adjust ride height. 
with oh, that with the, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you twist that. We have different lengths of these yeah. as well for show, for track. We did that with the Super Golf, so you can just yep. easy. Yeah. Super easy. Use the transmission tunnel to store a fuel cell right there. Everyday business. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So when I see the steering rack, that was kind of close to really get it in through Very. the yeah. suspension. And the steering there. actually feels, it still feels pretty decent, but okay. getting it around that was... But that's, that's the NSX, NSX part again, right? The, the steering, steering rack. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. No, looks, no, no that's something else. I'm not sure what the steering rack is from. Okay, and then have they the whole auto scanned? um halt diese Geometrieproblematiken zu beheben, die wir zum Beispiel auch beim Supergolf mal hatten. Aber das ist schon, das ist schon ein sehr, sehr ernstes, ernstes, ernstes Projekt, muss ich wirklich sagen. Ja, Vor allem, boah, also das, das sieht echt verrückt aus. Verrückt. Und dann auch mit dem Motor da drin. Und dann der Heckspoiler, wo die Rückleuchten wieder integriert sind von dem Truck. Ja, also... Ich meine, wer, wer fertigt die so ein Teil, ne? Ja. No touch. <lacht> Geil. Und dann wieder den NSX GT3 Heckdiffusor. Ne? Also das ist wirklich einfach aus allem, aus allem das Geilste so zusammengesetzt. Und dann hast du halt sowas. Ne? 800 What's the weight on that? In Kilos? We're trying to get 2100 pounds. 2100, so nearly a ton. Almost. Ungefähr 1000 Kilo. Das Projekt, was wir machen wollen, ist wird leichter. Ja, ja. Aber oh, ich, you, uh, okay. right so we don't know yet. We will know right before it goes on the trailer. Really? Yeah. So we'll text you. This okay. is Alex Green, by the way. Alex is Hi. one of the guys. Hello. It's a pleasure to meet Hi. you guys. Hi. Glad to have you. He spends most of his day, well, half of his day behind here, yeah. okay. making it all work correctly. And then the rest of the guys kind of fuse it together and make it all work. How many people work on the car? Seven, right? We got a lot. Yeah, we got a big team now. We got three guys that are like really skilled. Uh, and now we got a four other guys that are kind of like, they nice. do all the general work for us. And then you have to think, Armando or Rainer. Yeah, I thought I was going to say. I thought I was going to say. Armando and Manny. 7 to 2, yeah. Correct, yeah. Yeah, but... Wow. So now our biggest challenge is finding a race slick that's at this tire height. So a big challenge for us was, you have a big truck, right? Mm. You want a tall tire to fill out, otherwise it starts also looking really weird. Yeah, right. exactly. Yeah. So well, well, overall well, height, height, you right. really make this higher. I mean, you're really tied to the motor in terms of, or the drivetrain for ride height. So we had to make it up in diameter. So most NASCAR, IndyCar, F1, they're between 25 inches to 27 inches on overall diameter. This is 30, and even this was smaller. So we're battling, do we go with a 22 inch wheel and an even taller mm -hmm. tire, but then weight? So we went with a 20 inch rotiform. It looks made proportional it is correct. It looks, it looks, it looks, good. looks nice. Yeah, that's good to hear. I'm maybe maybe a 21, maybe a 21. And a fat tire would yeah. maybe also would be work. a good balance. Yep. So all the attention to detail, and someone wow. managed to drive out of the shop with fucking tires. Yep. <laughs> <That's crazy. laughs> but yeah, shout no. out to the guys at Rotoform for putting these together. Get Jason, the you were just there. there. Yeah. Yeah. Jason designed these, so it's the Rotoform LTN, which is also a similar style to what they run on the Acura. I know. DPI cars. For a moment, I thought it could be a wheel. I see. Center lock in the in the in the rear and, and <laughs> it's the Jekyll and Hyde kind of thing, you know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if you're around in a couple minutes, they're gonna fire it up and move it out. But probably like trust me. We yeah. would. <laughs> okay. All right. Hey, hey, you're busy guy, you know. No, 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 no. Busy no, no. guy. No. no. But it's still a truck. It's still a truck. It's got a tow hitch. Yeah. You gotta have the tow bar. <laughs> Very important. So these guys made. Also, this is Soupy. We know each other. Yeah, of course we do. Of course we do. The lead builder, old friends, shop daddy, yeah. old friends. They made a bar, I mean, a giant remember, bar. We, we raced uh, Le Mans a few years ago, right? Mm -hmm. Together. Uh, yeah. You 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 went twelve hours, and I Le went twelve hours. Yeah. Lemons. Yeah. Le Lemons. <laughs> Le Le Mans. Le Mans. How was that lemon party you kept telling me? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> the door was wide open. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, I can't wait. Yeah. But I guess it's not so super, super low, is it? No, well, because you have turbos. So yeah. the turbos quiet things. I mean, I mean, you have turbos, true, but the yeah. exhaust is, is the same length as my... Uh, so you're saying it's not so loud, right? It's not terrible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it sounds cool when you're like revving it, though. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Because at idle, it's a very choppy... 
sound, but once you rev it, it sounds like a proper indie car. So, so it never rolled so far? They it did. It around. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It did its first start two days ago. Okay. And it shoots little fireballs at idle too. Mm -hmm. That sounds, sounds, like, that sounds, sounds like an indie car. Yeah. yeah. That sounds very nice. Yeah. Okay, wait. Okay, uh, bis gleich. This one's got an SR. <laughs> Quality work, you know. From the same people who built the <laughs> indie powered <laughs> Honda Ridgeline you have. Okay, this is that, man. This. Oh, yeah. But you have this for. Best trick. Since I know you. Yeah, this is for. Watch yourself, watch yourself. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is exactly that brand. <laughs> oh, it looks good. Yeah. It's clean. Yeah. Clean, nice. Super, yeah. Super it was clean. a trophy truck at one time, yeah. so, you know. Yeah. Then we jumped it. A little too much send. Yeah, mm. broke everything. Yeah, easy. As we do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice work. Yeah. But this, this, is, this is nice. We could send it to you. I know you have a vintage race car hanging in your house. Maybe <laughs> that next to it? <laughs> no, that's, that's good living room decor. Next life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this thing. Oh, this is a real bulk racing wheels. Yeah. Right. Even through acquisition, we still manage to keep the bulk somewhere. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, jetzt wird's, jetzt wird's krass. Denn man erwartet alles Mögliche da drin an Motoren, aber nicht das. Nice. So that's two no, JZ GT. It's, it's not a thousand. No, no, no this, no. Makes like, this is very conservative. Yeah. Six forty-five to the wheel. That's okay. Yeah. yeah. Two JZ GT. Yeah. Uh, G30. And gen and with the timing. Mm -hmm. VVTI. Yeah, this is a super motor. So everybody's ready for SEMA then. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So how how big will the burn yard be in, in SEMA? Like last time. Uh, bigger. bigger, a lot bigger. Well, so, it's, a, it's the space. We try to keep Burnyard pretty small, like tight. So the driving space is about the same, but uh, it's part of a way bigger thing. Yeah. All of Ford out front. So where the whole Ford section was, we took over the entire Ooh. segment. So we have Burnyard, car show in the middle, so and no then a drift Ford. track no around Ford. back. Correct. Ford pulled out, so we partnered with eBay. And eBay wanted to do a big thing, so we worked with them to put together the Burnyard and their whole activation, which is like massive. Yeah, yeah, okay. Wir haben gerade gehört, dass die ganzen großen Hersteller gar nicht da sein werden. Ich bin gespannt, wie es sich anfühlen wird. Hm. I mean, to be honest, you don't really look at it anyways too much at the Ford booth and all that, but still, yeah. it's a big part of it. I mean, you figure, like, not for content, but you go through the pandemic, right? You realize that you can make it a year without SEMA. And then you're like, well, we spend $10 million dollars to go to SEMA, maybe we don't need it anymore. Mm -hmm, good point, yeah. A lot, of the, a lot of companies aren't going this year because they're just like, we had some of the greatest years ever without SEMA, why are we going to spend all this money? Granted, that was a bubble, like I don't think that's real life. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Me too. Yeah. But, you know, still, I think the point's kind of valid. So this is Zach's truck, the thing I was... Yeah, was to I think it's the idea that we do this fun. Oh. And that's, that's pretty crazy. I never met him. No? No. I don't even know how you pop this thing. I thought you just... I don't think it has a hood pop. There we go. Whoa. It's got a 572 big block. Uh, air, so air, 572 air, means some, it's something around 8. Cubic inches, That's yeah. around 8. Uh, it's got air conditioning, mm -hmm. fuel injection, okay. and it runs on 87 octane. It's like dirt fuel. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And Pretty it still much. makes like 700 horsepower. No way. Yeah. It gets literally feet to the gallon. I don't think it gets one mile per <laughs> gallon. It takes him half a tank to get here and he lives in this town. Yeah. <laughs> we, went, we went to lunch. Lunch was maybe three miles away and it went through a quarter tank of gas. Wow. Yeah. His driving style or the engine? Everything. Both. Yeah. Everything. It's well, all of the above. You drive it like you're in a speedboat. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> First your no wake zone and then yeah. and I mean look it's got a big ass tire that it has to push. This also does all wheel drive four wheel drive center axis donuts. <laughs> it's of course. Crazy to see. All the Oh yeah. All the safety equipment you need like yeah. um paper, paper towels in the back seat, you yeah, know? Yeah, for know, sure. You never you know. Know. And um uh, steering wheel. Yeah. Yeah. 
It drives. I heard it drives better with them. Yeah, the yeah, wheel? yeah, yeah. There's not a there's not a single seatbelt in this entire car. Well, there's this one, but you know, you're safer without it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you put it around your neck. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. But you, you, I mean, in Germany, you don't see you don't see this. No. Never. No, that's why I thought this would be a cool one for you. But yeah, but yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. You know what? I think it's a very good looking car. Yeah, these yeah. are cool. Yeah, this is like. Cool. Yeah, and also this, you know, it's nice because it has all the patina, so it's not, like, this is just original. This yeah, is all just yeah. burning off from the sun, you know? That's an interesting yeah. thing about old American cars is that this kind of patina actually looks cool. It looks cool. It yeah. looks yeah. good, like especially when it's natural well, like, like that. California is really unique because it's so dry. So the sun is really strong, so the sun burns off the paint, mm -hmm. but because it's so dry, you don't really get rust. You get some rust, but you don't get rot. Like you like don't get engineer. like holes. Yeah. yeah, you don't get like holes in your floor. You get this, you know, you get a little nonsense, but not bad. And mm -hmm. it's not, is this not running? No, it runs. Someone, he said someone left the, the batteries not in it because someone left the key on and it killed the fan and the battery. So, uh, How much yeah. Space for coolers. Right? Look at that radiator. Yeah, you can just, you, it's a radiator here, but you can just put another one here. Yeah. Not behind it. <laughs> just put yeah, also, more. Just put yeah. more. Also, this is Vicky. Also, ich, oh. yeah, you guys don't know. You guys don't know how lucky you are. Another 2J. That's her. You see, it's crazy you say that, but you don't but, understand how big of a problem cars are in California. No, no, no. You don't understand how big it is in Germany. <laughs> it's what really. Do you do to the clutch? <laughs> oh, wow. It's a pool type clutch, right? Uh, yeah. I Hydraulic think uh, throw. Yeah, that's a uh, Nissan transmission. So the yeah, it's a C C it's a, that's a C fifty Z yeah. first mm -hmm. gen, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, the first generation 350Z Getriebe an einem 2OZ, aber mit einer sehr besonderen Kupplung hier zwischen, weil das wurde hier abgesägt, wie man sieht, auch in sehr fachmännischer äh, Manier. <laughs> ja, hier abgesägt, adaptiert, ne? mm -hmm. und dann wieder dran. And this goes in the GS. Of course, it does. Look at that manifold. That wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Valve covers, all the good stuff. I can't even imagine what a spiel paradise this is. I've been here so often, and it's just in every corner, there's just spiels, and nothing is normal, everything is durchgeknallt, everything is cool, all the people here are cool, everything is just different here, you know? And yeah. they come here in the morning. Does it feel like work to be here? Is, is it working? Well, no, I mean, to I be mean, honest, rough subject. To be rough honest, subject. We, we spend so much of our time in the office side. Really? Meetings on the computer, on everything. There's so much happening at any time. Like we just launched Ken's Gymkhana last week. We're launching Travis's at the end of this year. We're filming another one in two weeks. Oh. We have Black Friday, Cyber Monday, all of our products. We have Cyber Monday. Yeah. Yep. It's the online Black Friday. Mm. Yep. Oh, so that's, we that's have like this our one too in Germany. Bowl. We have? Yeah, we have. See, I'm, I'm not. So the, oh, Ron yeah. and I, Ron and I made the mistake of transitioning to have real jobs instead of <laughs> just being on YouTube. Yeah. So we were like, let's go get real jobs and make money. <laughs> and then you're like, you know what? Real jobs suck. Because <laughs> you don't get to do this as much. So yes, yeah. it is fun being here. It is fun doing all the stuff when we can get to it but so much of our time is spent doing the yeah. job side too. It's a little bit. And, and Scotto is here a lot? It depends on the time of year. He was here this morning, but. This uh, conversation goes so much differently without a camera. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's true. But it's nice to hear, because it speaks to us. But it's funny, you just said, it's actually the same thing. In Germany, so many people think I have this life, but actually I'm also in the office and planning yeah. and doing things nearly you know, you 90, 90 percent. You have restaurants, you have apparel, yeah. you have three shops, a museum. It takes so much just yeah. to build those yeah. teams yeah. and to make sure those teams are on and the right path. The, and yeah. the teams. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Being successful isn't easy. I mean, it's the problem with YouTube is you create a fake life yeah. to show people yeah, yeah. and they, they don't understand. Because well, all the even, time you get the- Not even a fake life, but they just get one window. They get the most entertaining exactly. window I would say fake is wrong because yeah. what I do, I explain it over like this. When I do a video, that's my break time. Yes. Yeah. This is the time where I can freak out. This is the time where I can play, where I can do this. Yeah. Also, ich, ich sag gerade den Leuten, bei den Jungs, dass in dem Moment, wo ich das Video drehe, da ist meine Pause und mm -hmm. da ist mein Spaß und da kann ich durchdrehen. Aber wenn die Kamera nicht läuft, habe ich, like you guys, the office life. Und das halt ganz, ganz oft echt scheiße sein kann. Yeah. Yeah. There's so much coordination that it takes to yeah. make oh, any yeah. of this happen. Any of it, you know? Yeah. It feels like, I guess fake is wrong, but it's kind of like a highlight reel. But sometimes it feels fake because you're like, you're in a stressful situation. 
doing something for work and then they're like, hey, go film this thing and you're like, you have to different face switch. and you're like, now I'm going yeah. out and I have to, yeah. and I have to go put a smile on and be happy and be this thing and you're it's like, very good that you say that. Yeah. Or you stop 50% of the video, have yes. maybe two, three days of office and you remember how your mood was yeah. and then you go back in, but you had this 10 meetings in the morning und das, das ist das Schwerste für mich, wenn wir was nicht am Stück drehen und ich weiß einfach, wir drehen dann weiter und ich bin einfach im Kopf komplett gaga. But yeah. I'll say that every single successful YouTuber or influencer is a dedicated business person. First they are not just a likable internet personality and if they are, they're not gonna make it. We see that happen all the time. Someone's really popular, they get, you know, they seem like they're doing the thing and then they kind of fizzle out and do nothing because there's a lot of hard work that has to go on on the back end, otherwise you're just, you know, yeah. you're just picking up scraps of where you can yeah. make money. Don't look at that. Yeah, I would. No, 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 yeah, okay. look at this Look at this radiator overflow mount. Mm -hmm. I tied it because it broke when I was at the track, so I just tied it to the truck mount. <laughs> mm -hmm. That was months ago. That's how you do it. Yeah. yeah. So I, I always build cars that I really like, you know, so it keeps me from breaking them and like destroying them. And then I got this car for free. It was a sideshow car and I've rescued it. And uh, it's been great it's because, hey, it's got an angle kit, it's got coilovers, it's got a Recaro seat that costs more than the entire car, you know? <laughs> So this car is great because I genuinely don't care about it. Yeah. Like <laughs> we drive it, people crash into me. I it just don't, I don't wash it, you know. Like I leave it outside with it's the windows open. It's the most freeing thing ever. <laughs> What's this? Uh, this is a, this is a rough story. So we do sweepstakes cars for our apparel, right? Okay. Every dollar you spend in our store, you get a chance to win a vehicle. Mm -hmm. So we said, best used car you could buy right now is a C6 Z06, right? For the price, right. the right. performance, oh, okay. all, the, the, all the right things. You in know? America. So we said, in America. So we said, let's build one. We These did. used to be even cheaper. These used to be like twenty-seven, thirty thousand dollars No. Yeah. That's a big power engine. Oh, this big is Big power, a car. but also good yeah. handling, good gas mileage, everything. So we built it. Supercharger, suspension, custom bodywork, everything. What kind of supercharger? Uh, it's all not stock. Anymore. Wow. Not oh. anymore. So, Looks great. if you'll notice, if you'll notice. I saw it, yeah. This and airbags, it got finished. We were Toe out problem. Who did that? Oh. I can't say. Okay. It was being tested and it hit a curb and then hit a wall. Airbags went off, everything. A little bit of damage here. And we said, you know what? No. We, we can't, we can't fix it. We have to get a different one. We're giving this to somebody as a prize. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. do Damn the broken one. So we go to buy another one. Yellow, less miles, perfect. Okay, let's go get it. We're on our way to go get it. And the dealer calls us. They're like, you won't believe this. We're like, what? They're like, we just crashed the car. No. <laughs> we had to get a third one from San Diego. Six, seven hour drive. We had to get a third one and put all the parts over to that one. And then that oh. one's up front of our store. And this one's here now. So this will turn into that eventually. That's wow. this, this will be that very soon. It's looking yeah. at that. The evolution. Oh, you will take care of this. I will make this one my prize shitbox. Yeah. Prize shitbox for sure. Yeah. Yeah, but that's the echt eine krasse Geschichte. Yeah. I know you're a fancy guy. You got a lot of nice stuff, but you need a shitbox. I got shitbox. You need a thorough shitbox. No, I need a shitbox. No, no. I mean, <laughs> LA shitbox. Yes. Yeah, for here. Well, to see the thing you about it. You call me a fancy guy? You're a fancy guy. No, I'm a fancy guy. This is this is the Same best thing. thing with the GT3 the, RS. <laughs> this is the best yeah, thing. Yeah, right. When I saw this, <laughs> you made you went up from from cars where we really, I mean, I, I'm happy for you. Yeah, yeah. I, it's a beautiful car. Thanks. But when I saw this in the beginning, you know, like Instagram is, you don't read. I thought, okay, oh, he, he he has a GT3 RS for a few days, and I saw more and more pictures. I thought. Wait a second. <laughs> he owns a GT3. Yeah, cars. I fucking got. That's my dream car. That's nice. my thought for this year. For this year. <laughs> Next year will be something else. But for no, that's been my dream car it for is. like. But well, you got a good price, right? Yeah, of course. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bought it. Yeah. <laughs>
Also der Kollege hat sich hier eine 997 GT3 RS gegönnt. Huh. And there, they will go if you keep it and if you don't make a shitbox out of it. No, all my, I keep all my cars really nice despite what that looks like, all right? That's why none of his cars are here. Yeah. He keeps his cars at home yeah. to Evo keep them nice. Very, very nice. Yeah, Evo's very nice. Uh, all, I, the, yeah, all your cars are All very my cars nice. are nice. I take good care of my stuff. But I sold the NSX that I had. Very nice. I got rid of that. Yeah. I, I sold a lot of cars, but now I have the RS, the Evo, and a couple other things, E36s and stuff. And I have a nice E36 too. So you make good money then here. Yeah. yeah. We, they pay us. It's all the YouTube dollars, you know? <laughs> what I do is, um, but yeah, the best thing about LA is on the street, you know, you'll have somebody driving that $2,000 Aventador and someone driving literally this car right next to it. Just no registration, no title, missing rear wheels, and they'll just be wait on the street. Wait a second, wait a second. You allowed to drive even without all these other things? No, but they will. Okay. Yeah, it's way, it's very so this, 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 So this is really illegal. Yeah, I've driven my, so when I got my GT3 RS, I was, you know, didn't want to register it because the sales tax here is so expensive. So I was being cheap for a bit. I drove around with no license plates for four months. Oh, uh, Hoonigan plate. Yeah, no license plate at all. So that means, <laughs> so that means, Just, when, you, when you crash it. No, it was insured. Oh, it's insured. I would never okay. drive. That car is worth too much money to not drive around and insured. But if you don't have insurance, they impound your car right away because that's a liability. And they are able to find that out on the fly when you when you're driving around the cops. No, I have to pull you over. You show them your insurance card, and you're like, mm. this is insured. But I didn't have plates. I just had a Hoonigan license plate. I'm just driving around. <laughs> Months, no problem. <laughs> Uh, I did. Car shows everything. Whatever. All the yeah. above. No problem. And and let me tell you, it's obnoxiously loud. It is. So it's not something that could cruise under the radar. And that was fine. And then I finally got pulled over, and they threatened to impound the car. And then I was like, I'll register. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Ah, you got me. Yeah. Wait, but I paid. I did have to pay a hundred and twenty dollar ticket. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit. <laughs> Convenience fee. Yeah. Oh, hundred twenty dollar ticket. The GT three ass owner says that. That means just. No, I'm still cheap. That's yeah. right. Yeah. I made, I made, uh, the ticket was due on the 23rd of this month. I paid it on the 22nd. It's <laughs> <laughs> the last moment. Yeah, that's how it goes. Yeah, he, uh, he, he put a window, uh, the window mod in the side of the block so you could see inside of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, who whose car is this? Ben Hobson. He's a Motegi driver. He's driving for us in the burnyard. Oh. And he, 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 he put a... This windows, they're, uh, very, they're different, right? Sometimes. They are. And they sometimes are. little sticks look out. And they're little surprises. Yeah. You don't know when you're going to get the windows. <laughs> yeah, that's I'm right. Like, oh. uh, für die, die nicht so gut Englisch können, dieser Kollege, der dieses Auto fährt, ein Pro Drifter, hat ein kleines Guckfenster in seinem Block eine Seite reingebaut. So ein bisschen reingucken kann. Und das Spannende ist daran, du weißt nicht, wann es kommt. <lacht> also das, das happens sometimes. Und du weißt doch nicht, was rauskommt. Ja, yeah, ja, yeah. und dann guckt vielleicht mal ein Ploy hinaus <lacht> oder so. Okay. So this guy's coming out to SEMA. You'll see him in the burnyard with us. He puts on a really good show. He drives for Motegi Racing, Motegi mm -hmm. Wheels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So because of that, he's part of the bigger family with yeah, all yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, nice. Are you there all week? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. What's, what's that about? Which one? Uh, this. This? Oh, you know, you trans transport tires, transport people. Oh, nice. nice. Oh. Yeah, I don't know if you saw that. That thing's cool. Yes. Yes. It has a rotary. Yeah. yeah, it's never worked. It ran like twice. It ran like twice. It was a, it's got a 13B rotary NA with a four-speed sequential. This? Yes. Yeah. You sell it? Yeah, you want it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Big time. It's yours. Yeah, we'll sell just it to you. name a random price and we'll just send it to you. The, the, the Literally whatever you want to pay for it, you can have it. The 13B runs? Uh, might be low compression. It might have, I mean, so it's yeah, in yeah, there. Okay, so might have blown up, but. I love to have it. I would buy it. Dude, it's got a, it's got a, a four speed Samsung. Really? Yeah. Look at it. It's got a one off Rocket Bunny kit. Yeah. That's not, that's not a Samsung. Uh, what is it? No, wait. Four yeah, speed right, quake. Right, quake, yeah, quake, right, right. Quake box. Because yeah. the Samsung ones, you really. They're, they look like a billet tube. Like a tube. Yeah, all right, so all right. cool. Okay. Yeah. So you tell me how much you want. Dude, just make it all. You know what? I will ask Brian. That's a better person. <laughs> well. Wait, which Brian? It's Henderson. Oh. Henderson. Henderson will sell. Scott will be like, oh no, that we're keeping no, we it forever. We keep that secret. But because, if we keep you know it secret, he will he'll not, never notice. Exactly. He'll never notice. Yeah. Yeah. He will not notice. Yeah. He'll call you one day. JP, 
Where is the K truck? And you say, no, no, it's in your office. He will call me. It's in your office. You'll <laughs> <laughs> see it on his channel. Be like, who sent it over there? No, no, no. How much did that cost? He will call me. He will call me. Hey, you have the same truck that I have. <laughs> yeah, you just put a JP performance wow, sticker the over the kit. Hoonigan sticker. And the cool thing is one of one Rocket Bunny kit. So Kai Miura came over here, scanned the truck, and made the body kit no for way. this and put it on himself. Yeah. And those, those works are, were pretty hard to get too. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's a deal. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we even get a license for it. You know why? Weil es ein uh, Nutzfahrzeug sein kann. Nein? Nein. That's a good idea. Yeah. I mean, you bring that to the racetrack. That's a good racetrack. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah. We built it as a pit truck. Yeah. So when you go to the track, you carry yeah. your tires around to a yeah, yeah. workhouse drift team. As film auto. Yeah. As yeah. a video car for, for the track we yeah. have. Yeah. It would be perfect. Yep. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yep, yep. You're like, you uh, yes, I will take that. Yeah. <laughs> next time. Yeah. How far is it from Dortmund? 50 minutes. Oh, minutes no time. way. Yeah, let's yeah. go next time. I gotta it's see dangerous. some. I gotta see some of your stupid stuff work in real life. Yeah, that go kart video. Oh, you, can you can drive on it now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Abi 26, äh, Abi 26 hat es immer noch mega an. Ne? Ja. Das ist einfach einer ja, der best ja. klingesten Motoren, die es einfach gibt. Das, das war alles krass. Aber das ist das Geile hier. Dass das einfach hier ganz normal ist. Ja, ja. Wir, wir standen ja. gerade. Responsible as that. Like, look at it. It's got a livery on it. Out of state license plate. <laughs> out of state license plate is also a problem. No. Mm. It's like skirting the line. So what happens when I just drive through? That's okay. It's you know, it depends. Like you get a cop that wants to break your balls, they'll break your balls. Yeah. But. Mm -hmm, yeah. 
but it's still it's legal it's just like yeah uh, you know depends okay. on the cop yeah it's kind of just he sees you 10 times a week then he knows it's just you know some of the cops know the game okay. so they're oh, like okay. you know, but yeah it's nearly like in Germany yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there's like not much they could do. Okay, also wir, äh, wir warten jetzt, glaube ich, noch, bis er angesprochen, äh, angesprochen wird. Angesprochen. Oh, das war schon ein langer Tag hier schon wieder. Ja, ja, angesprochen. Ich bin schon wieder ja, tief ja. gerade. <lacht> <lacht> äh, also, wir haben hier sehr, sehr viel Spaß. Wir nicht schneiden wir was rein, wie das Ding klingt, weil das klingt echt crazy. Ich habe gerade ein Handyvideo gesehen. Ja. Wie ein Formel 1 Auto, obwohl das sieht jetzt so aus, ob das, glaube ich, gleich anspringt. Nee. Wir machen das anders. Wir ja. Entweder zeigen wir das Auto auf der Sima. Ja. Oder gleich hier. Well, we have no end date. We, we got a date in yeah. a few minutes. Okay. Yeah. Where well, we're not allowed to talk about. All right. Thanks for coming by. No, we got a date. Oh, me and you. Yeah, yeah. The, the date with this car with the wing. Oh. You know. Less excited about that last part. The first part was that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Nein, okay. Also, das Video ist, glaube ich, noch nicht vorbei. Ich weiß nicht ganz genau. Auf jeden Fall uh, geht's jetzt Richtung Sima. Aber vorher machen Julian und ich noch ein bisschen Party, ne? Oh, yeah. Ooh, baby.